<laughs> it's you. No, it's not. Alice in Wonderland set a record for a non-sequel movie, earning a whopping $116.3 million at the box office this weekend, which is better than the debut for Avatar. It also set a record for a 3D movie. The movie's success was due in part to the directing of Tim Burton and the star power of Johnny Depp and Anne Hathaway. Johnny Depp talked about his unique take on his character in the film, The Mad Hatter. He's a, I, I kind of think of The Mad Hatter, I mean, it always seemed to me like he was like a, you know, a, a, like a beating heart, you know, like a really like, as if his, his, his sort of um, heart flesh were on the outside. You know, like he were a, he were a um, it seemed to me like he would be, it's like he's a, a like a mood ring in a, in a sense, you know, impossible to hide anything, you know. So like his emotions are very, very, very close to the surface. Mia Vashikovska talked about her approach to Alice. The Cheshire Cat takes Alice to the tea party where she meets the Hatter who, um, you know, it's just kind of confusing for her because everyone seems to know her. She doesn't quite have a recollection of who everyone is and um, at the tea party, she sort of learns about the Underland Underground Resistance, which is, you know, the resistance against the Red Queen, um, you know, the people who are fighting for the White Queens, you know, for the White Queen to come back into power. Alice in Wonderland was the winner far and away. Brooklyn's Finest came in second with 13 million, and that was followed by Shutter Island, Cop Out, and Avatar. I wouldn't even come to you with this unless I did. Set it up. I want my life back, Bill. And I'm working on it. Work harder.